hi guys welcome to my channel my name is abigail or girl it's your very first time here and if you're a new subscriber here how welcome yay so in this video i'm going to be showing you the, um how to how i part my hair so i'm um i'm going to be having 40 parts so I'm, was i used it to make um fairy looks so i'm just going to be showing you how i part my hair for my fairy looks you, the video for my fairy looks you can check it out on my channel so first off but before i continue make sure you click on the subscribe button below if you still haven't done that yet put a notification icon as well so even if i have any video comes up give me a big thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section thank you so let's get into the video first off i it sound good my hair my i just washed my hair and i made it into a twist a braid braided at the roots then twist the ends so after that then i just washed my hair put it in a braid used leave-in conditioner and all so this is what we have now so after detangling my hair so i'm going to be patting the back of my hair from the middle of my hair here at the back to the other end of my hair just forming a straight line at the back of my head then after that i'm going to be forming another line so i'm going to be dividing that part into two so after so i have the section in front then the section on the back then the section on the back i'm going to be dividing it into two so because i want to have 40 parts because i like knowing the amount of air i'm going to be using before i start making it so i wanted to have 40 parts i didn't want it to be too small or too much so 40 parts so first off so at the back softer section is into two so the the part at the back i'm going to be dividing it into four so to divide into four i'm going to part it first in the middle then divide each side have two parts so i have two parts on each side at the back so making it four then after um, making my parts i just roll them roll my hair around you can twist your hair once at once if you if you want but I just wanted to make sure my parts are I'm okay with my parts before I start doing any twist. So I just roll them to just keep them there. So for the next row, I'm going to be doing the same. I'm passing the air in the middle. So I have the same amount of air on each side. So this time around, I'm going to be dividing each side into three. So there are six all together. So the next row, we are going to be having six parts. So now all together as 10 we have four at the back then the next row we have six so that's thin for the back of my head so now we are moving towards the front because i usually like to have um like having center part uh, and side part for my hair so i usually like i like having three parts in the front of my head so i'm going to be starting the first one by i am patting my hair at the back first i'm just making a straight line from the tip of my ear to the other to the end of the other tip of my ear then after that i'm going to be coming to the front the part i made from the back i'm just going to bring it forward just to have the third the first part from the front just as you can see in the video i don't know i don't know how to describe the part i think it's from the end the end of my eyebrows yeah it looks i feel like the end of my eyebrows to the other end of my eyebrows yeah so that way just have that carved part so it's just like a c shape or should i say a u shape see see the sideways version of you is this u or c just 
a curved shape like that so once i have it on both sides i'm going to be sectioning again so but this time around i want from this end to the other end to be 10 so because we are going to be having six parts in the front um no, sorry we're going to be having three parts in the front so i'll have so so since we already have 10 at the back and i'm going for 40 parts so the next row will just have 10 10 each 10 rows 10 on each row 10 parts on each row so I'm just parting in the middle so we'll have equal amount of air on each side so then i'm going to be sectioning it into five since half of ten is five <laughs> okay so since half of ten is five so i'm just going to continue that way then roll my hair put it in a kind of loose band to knot yeah a loose band to knot so just to put it away so we are done with the first section for the front that is now we have um 20 parts four at the back then six then we have 10 then now we are going to have another 10 another 10 yeah since we have 30 already so we have 20 parts to make so this time around i'm just going to be forming a u shape from the 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 part of my eyebrow the curved part of my eyebrow yeah it's so that's part of the eyebrow where it's arcs down the arc yeah. so from that tip to the other tip of the eyebrow or you can also use your uh, your edges to know the part because I have this kind of M shaped edges there. So from the first part where it goes in, I'm going round it. So, so we have it round in a U shape that way. Then do the same thing part into half. So we have equal half. And in each half, I'm going to be sectioning into five. So we have 10. Then after that means that we'll be having 30 parts. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be passing it equally. Just, you may not definitely, you may not actually use the same part as I'm doing like 40 parts. You can have more, but I'm just showing you the technique on which you can go about having your parts so it's, you have equal shape or equal size of parts so now i'm just going for the last part which is just the one on top right on top so i'm going to be having my center part i'm going to be parting my air in the middle so we have two halves already then from that two halves i'm going to be doing five five since we have 30 already and i'm going for 40 so math says 40 minus 30 we left with 10 so we're going for five five so we have our complete 40 parts so this is just basically how i go about parting my hair because i like i like my parts to be nice and neat so and i put them into bantu not also so that's basically it for the pattern so you can see i have 40 parts we have um yeah 40 parts and one two three four five six lines six lines 40 parts so i'm going to be using this to um, this coil keeper on my hair just to make my twist juicy so i'm just putting now that i'm true in my part i can make my twist for my hair because i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the parts for 
to make locks fairy locks so and that's basically it i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it please make sure to click on the subscribe button if you still haven't done that yet turn the notification icon as well so you're notified when a new video comes up give me a big thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section thank you so also make sure to check my other videos if you haven't done that yet i have so many videos you can watch how to make butterfly looks how to make braids how to do travel styles and natural styles so i know so thank you and see you in my next video make sure to also share this video thank you